Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Ashron Skull gameplay video. Today I'm going to be doing uh, part two of the repaired Shadowstone quest. This one is called the Shadowfire Stone quest. So once you've repaired it, you can now make it into a usable form. So I have from the last video the. Where's my Shadowfire Stone? There it is. Repaired. Shadow Fire Stone. So when you hand in the damaged Shadow Fire Stone, Siandra is going to give you a repaired Shadow Fire Stone or repaired Shadow Stone. To start this second part of the quest, you're going to hand it back to her. She's going to tell you she's found a way to alter the stones to work with Asparian weapons, and then tells you some coordinates uh, for the next dungeon. Um, but first, we need to go to the Empyrean Workshop in order to flag for Atlan's Laboratory. So we're going to pop in Town Network, and we're going to go to Nadisa Castle to the Empyrean Workshop. So Nadisa Castle is in the Annex Wing on the right side, I believe. That's this cool yellow portal. And then the Empyrean Workshop, 66.9 north, 15.9 east. Oh, that's it. Those are the coordinates. Okay, so she does give you the right coordinates. I thought it was Atlan's Laboratory. Well, maybe they're in the same place. I think they might be. It's been a while since I've run this one. This is actually the quest for how to get the... At least for me, the Shadow Nether Asparian one, but you can also get just a regular Shadow Slayer weapons from this. Let's just hit enter and clear that out of the way. Run to Atlan's Laboratory. Hopefully this isn't too hard of a run because it is near Crater. Um, okay, yeah, so it is Empyrean Workshop slash Allen's laboratory at the same place. I think that we can run up this mountain, but it is looking pretty steep, so we'll probably have to run around it in some fashion. This is where that program, Skunk Works, really, really helps. It just makes the landscape. So Skunk Works is a program that turns impassable terrain red. It just kind of makes it, you know, I don't know, the scenery less nice when everything's just red, so. Okay, so there's the Empyrean Workshop. Nice, we did that run. Nice and easy. All right, so in this dungeon, we are looking for the Empyrean Notebook. Um, so the directions from the drop continue east. Oh, I'm going to have flashbacks to when we did this the first time. So one thing that I know for sure is you're not supposed to jump down into these pits. Like it may seem like it's a shortcut to get. <laughs> I don't even know if you could hear that, but my dog's whining. Um, so it may seem like it's a shortcut to get through quicker, but it is definitely a long cut it is it is the wrong way to go i don't think i actually need to kill these but let's see how yeah so this shadow slayer wand is so good if you've seen my tau tau kill tasks video or two two kill i don't know how to say anything in this game but if you've seen that video you know that this thing does some good work so then you're going to go either left or right there and you're just going to want to generally make your way east until you come to until you come to this large room. Definitely, if you're a lower level, this quest is restricted to 125. So I think if you're closer to 125, this could really, uh, really be tough. Your summoning skill is too low debuffed myself 
Anyway. Just gonna keep heading east. Don't really need to fight this stuff. Keep heading east. And then we're gonna go basically all the way back west until we come to um, like an inner chamber, I believe is what we're looking for. Yeah, so I think we have to kill this inner chamber guardian. Might have to de, uh, is this thing a shadow? I should probably take this. No, it's a golem. Okay, and then this guy drops the key to the door. I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we need that yet. First thing we need is this notebook. So that we already have the key to this door. So when we come back, because we're gonna have to come back through this dungeon again. Uh, so when we come back, we're not gonna need to get this key again, which will be nice. So basically you have to go get this book, turn it in, then go back to the dungeon and go through that same, the same path we just took. Uh, so we're going to take this book. It's uh, an ancient book written in perfectly formed Empyrean script. So who do we know who likes books? Uh, we're going to go to Craig Stone to Brett Self, the translator. There's pretty much two places to go if you've got books in this game. It's either Hebe and Toe, not Hebe and Toe, Craig Stone or Zykel. Um, two of the three capital cities, Hebe and Toe being the third. Um, so yeah, Brett's off the translator, usually likes Empyrean stuff, and if you've got like something from a Verindy related quest, that would be Zykel up by the Archmage. Brett's off is just west of town in this building here, next to the Bestowers Guild. Wearing this funky hat. I don't know if you can get this hat as a character. It's pretty cool. Hand him the book. Hmm, this seems to be written in some sort of Empyrean code. And then we're gonna need to go back to Zarabedin and turn this into Siandra again. So this is how I get to Town Network. It's uh, faster than running and I I don't like to use my portal ties on something like that. I should probably buy some portal gems now that I have pack space again. So we're gonna go Gurundum Wing to Zarabidin. There's my debuffs are still running out. And we're gonna go up the steps. Hand the book to Siandra. Ah, the translated tome, wonderful. Be careful in there. If these words are any indication, Atlan was more than capable of setting up his lab to be well defended. So this is kind of cool lore in that, you know, Atlan weapons are like a staple of Asheron's call. Everyone knows Atlan's weapons. So we're going into Atlan's laboratory, which I think is pretty sweet. And we're just running back to that same dungeon. Once you're back in the dungeon, we're basically going to just follow the same exact path we just followed before. Head east all the way, as far east as you can go. Do not jump in the pits. Again, like I said before, it doesn't matter from that room whether you take the north or the south exit, as long as you keep heading east. Down the steps and around, 
and then all the way back west. We've already killed the guardian, so we don't need to do that again. We just need to use the key on the door and then go through into Alan's laboratory. Pretty cool art and floating candles. Like we're in uh, Hogwarts or something. So, yeah, this dungeon, we're gonna go straight through into this octagon room. All right, we're not gonna hang around and fight them too much, so we're gonna jump down into the pit. And then we're gonna take, there's two exits. I, I'm not sure that it matters, but we're gonna take the south exit. Yeah, I think if you kept going that way, it would take you back up. And then west. So this room is like a big C. We're going to follow it around and then take this northeast passage. Wow, there's a lot of these lights. I think this is the right way east. I don't think, no. I think it was. Okay, so coming out of that room, you can kind of see on my map, you wanted to actually go northeast and then east and then down further. You'll come to these bridges. We're gonna just. I'm not going to jump, but you could jump down between the bridges. And then you'll come to this platform with Atlan's crafting golem. Um, going to kill him. Poor crafting golem was just trying to make stuff, and now we're going to kill it. I like that there's, like, some Atlan stones just, like, you know, hanging out on the ground here. All right, so this golem drops damaged stone infuser, so we're gonna loot that. And that's all that we need to do here. We're gonna go back to Zarebidin. We're gonna head to Siandra, and Siandra gets the damaged stone infuser. She gives you the repaired stone infuser. She gives you instructions. You get 161 million, or if you're wearing a 6% trinket, 170 million. And from there, we need a decanter of essence. So I'm not gonna go through how to get a decanter of essence. I'm just gonna grab one off my mule and show you the next step. Once you have your decanter of essence, you're just going to use it on your repaired stone infuser to get a charged stone infuser. And then you're going to use the charged stone infuser on your repaired, or maybe the other way around. The repaired shadow stone can only be used while on a hook. So you're actually going to need a second decanter of essence. So we're going to head to Craigstone. This is a step that I kind of missed before. Um, this repaired shadow stone is actually a housing item. And in order to make it usable, we need to go to another shadow. So we're gonna go back to Craigstone. We're gonna go to the Craigstone uh, settlement portals, which are outside of town near Brett's off the translator. And we're gonna take the Haliana Settlement Portal. Well, the shadow that we're looking for is Shade of Far Aleth. This is another quest to get Shadow Slayer weapons. They're just very specific Shadow Slayer weapons. It's like a mace, an ax, maybe a spear is the last one, I think. Um, but this NPC that gives you that quest also gives you the correct Shadow Fire Stone in order to 
you know, make to finish this quest. All right, so we are at Haliana Settlement. And we're just gonna run along the beach to the west, northwest. Shao's Devourer. Banished Banderling? No, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna run. It's fine. Uh, so even if you just read this book, it'll tell you this step that I missed. So it says a dormant shadow fire stone. The dormant stone can be acquired by bringing a repaired shadow stone and a decanter of essence to the shade of far Eighth on the northeast coast of Osteth. And they even give you the coordinates, which is really nice. running towards. I'm just running along the beach. So we're going to talk to the Shade of Far Eighth. He'll actually just flag you to go in this temple of the Starting Shadow. I think we're just going to hand him so you hand him the stone and then you hand him the decanter of essence. After you hand him the decanter, he'll hand you back dormant shadowfire stone. All right, so you use the charged stone infuser on the dormant stone and you get a shadowfire stone, which is pretty sweet. It's a really good item. Uh, you use it on an Esparian weapon to get a shadow slaying Esparian weapon. If you are void like me, you can actually hand this Shadowfire Stone back to the Shade of Far Eighth, and you can either get the Shadow Nether Stone or the Life Attuned Shadowfire Stone to get a Life Shadow Slayer, Life Magic Shadow Slayer. That's going to be it for this quest. I hope you enjoyed it. I took you through a whole bunch of different areas, got a little turned around myself, but hey, we got there in the end, right? That's all that matters. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And thanks for watching. Bye.